2020-20 rest sequence, we're gonna be performing two core base exercises from a plank position. I have a band that's gone around my shins. You can use a band, but if you don't have one, no problem. You can do the same two exercises without. What the band's gonna do is it's just gonna place a little bit of extra tension through our glutes, getting them to work harder to create abduction, ultimately working harder to create force and strength. So with that, it's tap, step, tap, step. Core is engaged nice and strong as I step. I wanna make sure there's no rotation through my hips as I step out. And then with that, uh, you just feel a nice solid burn through there and also too through there. Second exercise, we're gonna build on top of what we did with the first exercise. We're doing an RKC plank. Band doesn't really come into play here with your RKC plank. Ultimately, you're holding a plank and trying to contract some areas, some muscles used within your plank isometrically. So no movement is actually happening, but your muscles are engaging to create force and ultimately, again, just build strength. So with that, those areas are going to be, first and foremost, glutes squeezing together nice and strong. From there, I'm gonna push my fists into the floor, help to engage my anterior core, and then I'm gonna drive my elbows down and inwards like so. And what I'm gonna feel, what I'm hopefully going to feel is, glutes are on nice and tight, press those fists down, feel that core engage, and then we sort of dig down and deep. You're gonna get those obliques activated as well. You hold that for 20 seconds as strong as you can. Which is what's gonna happen? You perform the mini band plank with abductions, then you perform your RKC plank, rest for 20, repeat the sequence for the amount of rounds prescribed.